Daisy McAndrew is an NBC Royals commentator and a journalist. Daisy, it's good to see you. Boy, talking about your family in an interview is one thing. Writing it down in a book that will be, pers will, will, will be around forever is definitely another thing. So from what you know, how did the royal family react to the fact that this is going to be written in a book? Well, the assumption here is that actually they were completely flabbergasted. Joe, I know, just uh, told you that uh, Prince Harry had spoken privately to the royal family. My understanding is that that happened last night, that he did a last-minute scramble to get hold of them to warn them that this news wow. was being uh, issued by the publishers. Um, and certainly insiders here are saying they're completely flummoxed by it, obviously very, very concerned. Um, and and are just wondering what's next. Of course, many people saying he went to the United States of America to preserve his privacy, to move away from the royal family, but ever since then seems to have done quite the reverse, constantly talking about uh, the royal family and the inner workings of it. Daisy, to, to that point, I mean, the sit-downs, the podcasts, the docu-series, and now the book, our understanding, is just as you stated there, was part of the reason he, he left was to get some privacy. What's, what, what's the motivation here? Well, of course, many people are saying that the motivation is money. Again, as Joe said, it has been uh, said that the proceeds of this book are going to charity. But I've been trying to unpick that this morning because proceeds might mean royalties. It might not mean royalties. Mm -hmm. Proceeds might mean the advance. It might not mean the advance. Uh, the advance uh, is rumoured to be about $20 million, more than £14 million. Pounds. Now, obviously, we know that the royal family have talked about, or rather, Harry and Meghan have talked about the fact they have to pay their own bills now. They have to pay their security, that their lifestyle is very expensive. And so $20 million would go some way uh, to, to paying those bills. They might come out and clarify this. They might say that actually the advance and the royalties are going to charity. In the UK, you have to be very, very clear about which bits of what are going to charity. But I'm not sure the rules are quite the same in the States. So there are still some quite big question marks about that side, the financial side of this. Daisy, it's even hard to say the word reconciliation after this kind of news. But do you see any way that Prince Harry can get back into the fold of the royal family? Or is this it? Well, look, the glass half full people over here are saying maybe this book will lead to reconciliation. Maybe this book uh, will show that there is still a good relationship there and there is still love there. I'm afraid the glass half empty people are saying it really doesn't look like it, particularly the quotes that have already come out saying this is going to be, you know, truth, this is going to be accurate. And of course, after that amazing Oprah interview a few months ago, the palace issued a statement saying, well, recollections differ. Mm. This to me looks like it's Prince Harry saying, well, this is my recollection and this is my truth. And if you don't agree with it, you know, then you can publicly say so. Of course, that Oprah interview got 100 million viewers. If even a fraction of that number bought this book, mm -hmm. it's, it could be even bigger than uh, President Obama's book, which to date, I think, is Random House's uh, biggest selling memoir. Wow. All right. Well, Daisy McAndrew, thank you so much for your insight. We appreciate your time this morning. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.